Number 5. After SUVs in last year, now Endo Tibetan Border Police or ITBP has for the first time deployed snow scooters. These will be used in high altitude border posts along the Sino India perimeter to transport troopers. The move assumes great significance, since ITBP in Ladakh, Uttarakhand and Sikkim directly overlook the Chinese People Liberation Army deployment on the other side. In this video, Defense Updates provides viewers with details of this development. So, let's jump in. Number 4 ITBP was raised on the 24th of October 1962. Presently, ITBP is deployed on border guarding duties from Karakoram Pass in Ladakh to Jachepla in Arunachal Pradesh, covering 3,488 kilometers of Indochina border. It is responsible for manning border outposts on altitudes ranging from 9,000 to 18,700 feet in the western middle and eastern sectors of the Indochina border. Number 3 Last year four white sports utility vehicles, two Toyota Fortuner and as many Ford Endeavor, with a price tag of around Rs 25 lakh each, have been deployed by the border guarding force at some of its forward locations. No other border guarding force or army formations in forward areas have ever used high-end SUVs for troops. ITBP director said while the force has several types of four-wheelers, including those with 4x4 drive facility for high-altitude driving at its border locations, SUV platforms, which are powered by diesel run heavy-duty engines were acquired for quick movement in these mountainous areas. The force before deploying these SUVs at border posts, trained a special batch of drivers at the ITBP training center in Chandigarh, after which they were driven uphill, to their places of deployment. In order to make sure they are utilized for the task they have been sent for and not misused, the ITBP boss said, strict instructions have been issued that these vehicles will carry only troops while on duty and during patrol. Officers can utilize them only when leading such tasks. Number 2 The modern scooters, all costing around Rs 1 crore, can see two personnel with their rifle and ammunition in tow. These can negotiate a 45 degree slope on the hills and are supported by chain case belts to help the 278 kg machine glide smooth and cut through the ice. The black and white scooters, 325 mm in length, have hydraulic brakes for effective ground control and its carburetted ignition system can hold over 41 liters of fuel in one go. These are one of the most modern variants of such patrol vehicles produced in the world, and used by global security forces that have icy terrains to guard. The ITBP has sent five of these vehicles to its mountain training and skiing institute in Uttarakhand Zolai, where a select contingent of troops are being trained in its operations after which they will be sent to locations in Ladakh and Uttarakhand and one in Sikkim. Number 1 India has been very conscious of the increasing Chinese assertiveness and belligerency. Deployment of SUVs and snow scooters is part of India's effort aimed at steady build-up of infrastructure along the Indochina border. Here are some of the recent steps taken by India. 1. India is buying the 155mm M777 guns at a cost of about $750 million from America's B systems. This is first major buy for the Mountain Strike Corps. Note that, the Mountain Strike Corps has been specially raised to defend India's border with China. 2. Army is inducting a regiment of land-launched Brahmos, in Arunachal Pradesh along the China border, giving it lethal offensive power. 3. For better connectivity, Indian Air Force has landed the huge C-17 Globemaster III in Arunachal Pradesh. With this, 
India will have the ability to quickly send men and material to the forward base in case hostilities break out. It can be very well judged that unlike earlier, India is now taking concrete steps in dealing with China. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.